The process of qualitative fit testing requires the use of nebulizers to aerosolize either a sweet or bitter tasting solution around the cowlick's face. When the nebulizers work, it's a very easy process, but malfunctioning nebulizers can cause some frustration. This video will explain the general use, maintenance, troubleshooting, and cleaning of the nebulizers to make your fit testing experience as smooth as possible. There are two nebulizers needed for every fit test. One will hold the red sensitivity solution, and the other will hold the black fit test solution. Both nebulizers are identical in function. The only difference is the labeling on the lids. One has a red 1 sensitivity test solution label, and the other has a black 2 fit test solution label. Both nebulizers will work with either solution, but match the lids with the respective solution to help you keep track of your nebulizers. Each nebulizer is made of four main parts, the bulb, the base or reservoir, a question mark shaped nebulizing insert, and the lid with two plugs attached. Also included with the nebulizer is a small wire loop. This is a tool for cleaning the nebulizer tip. To begin, let's look at how to properly assemble a nebulizer. Push the reservoir base onto the bulb opening until you cannot push them together any further. Then take the question mark insert and place it over the nebulizer tip. Gently push it down as far as it can go. It will stop when the tip touches a small spout on the insert. Take whichever solution you will be filling the nebulizer with and pour some into the reservoir. There are markings to indicate the volume. Do not fill past the 4 milliliter marking. Then take the lid labeled for whichever solution the nebulizer was just filled with. In this case, we used the red sensitivity solution, so we will put on the lid labeled for that solution. If you won't be using the nebulizer right away, you can plug the two openings on the lid with the attached plugs. When you are ready to use the nebulizer, remove the plug so the nebulizer is open to air in both places. Test that the nebulizer is working. To do this, you will just need to visualize an aerosolized mist leaving the device. Hold it up in front of a light source and squeeze the bulb. You should see mist leaving the spout on the top, and if you don't, check to make sure both plugs are open and that the question mark shaped insert is fully pressed onto the nebulizer tip. If it still doesn't work and you feel resistance when squeezing the bulb, it's likely the tip is clogged with sugar. This happens more often with the fit test solution than the sensitivity solution. Always check the nebulizers before starting a fit test but sometimes they may stop working during the fit testing process. Anytime this happens, there is a simple fix to get you through the remainder of this fit test. Remove the lid, and then remove the question mark shaped insert. Take the metal loop of wire and stick it into the reservoir tip. Wiggle it around and piston the wire a few times to clear the crystallized sugar, and then give the nebulizer a squeeze. It should feel easier to squeeze, and you may not see a mist, and that's not surprising. The insert needs to be put back in to ensure aerosolization. Put the insert back in place and reattach the lid to the reservoir. Test the nebulizer in front of a light source, and if it is working, continue your fit test. If that doesn't work, there is likely a large clog in the nebulizer that will need to be dissolved. It will need a full cleaning. To fully clean the nebulizer, take it apart into its four pieces and soak each piece in warm water for a time. The more sugar present, the longer it will need to soak. The sugar will dissolve, leaving you with a nice, clean nebulizer. After allowing the nebulizers to soak and clean, allow them to dry before reassembling. Then store them with your fit testing supplies until they are needed again. Always clean your nebulizers after use. Even if they are still working well when you finish, there is likely some sugar still present in the device, and it will crystallize over time and clog the nebulizer. You don't want to assemble your supplies for your first test of the day, only to find the nebulizers are already clogged. 